Okay. Now, some post sets are interval orders and some are not. And we want to characterize them. And there is a famous theorem by Peter Fishburne, who was at Bell Labs when this was done, that characterizes interval orders in terms of forbidden subpost sets. So Fishburne's theorem is that a post set is an interval order if and only if it does not contain as a subpost set what's called the standard example, and that's denoted S2, and it's also denoted 2 plus 2. And it's denoted 2 plus 2 because if you take two chains like this and draw them like this, you see a two-element chain and you see another two-element chain. There's no connection between them. And so in the POSET language, that's called the plus, the disjoint sum. So that is the disjoint sum of two two-element chains. So a POSET is an interval order if and only if it does not contain the standard example or does not contain 2 plus 2. Now, we're actually going to prove that theorem. All right, let's do it. All right, so it's an if and only if. So I have to show you that if a post set is an interval order, it doesn't contain 2 plus 2. And then I have to show you that if a post set does not contain 2 plus 2, it is an interval order. I have to do both directions. One direction is trivial. Let's do the necessity. So. P is an interval order. Implies no 2 plus 2. And let me emphasize that as a sub poset, this has nothing to do with the diagram. This is a sub poset. So you cannot find two chains with no elements of one chain comparable with elements of the other. Now, the proof is trivial. If the post set is an interval order, then I can represent it like shown on the first slide in terms of intervals. So let's label these guys A, B, C, and D. Now, if there is a representation for a post set containing these four elements, what would the intervals for A and B look like? There would be an interval for A of some length and an interval for B of some length. I don't know whether, I don't know anything about the lengths, except I know that the one for A ends before the one for B. Everybody with me on that simple observation? Now, because A is less than B, there is a gap in here. G A P. Now look at the interval for C. The interval for C is incomparable with both A and B. What does the interval for C look like? It can't end over here because that would make C less than B. It can't start over here because that would make A less than C. So the conclusion is that the interval for C must contain the gap. I don't know where the endpoints of C are, but I know that C spans the gap. Again, if C started to the right of this, that would make A, A, A less than C. If C ended, to the left of this, that would make C less than B. So C must span that gap. But exactly the same statement holds for D. D is incomparable with both A and B, so D spans the gap. Now, with those two statements together, you cannot have C less than D. Because C less than D means the intervals for C and D are disjoint with C ending before D begins. 
And we've just shown that, in fact, C and D overlap. They both contain the gap. So that is the proof of necessity. If a post set is an interval order, it does not contain a 2 plus 2. So by inspection, if I draw this post set and ask you, Is it an interval order? Do you have to waste much time answering that? Do you sit around for 20 minutes trying to come up with intervals for all these points? No. You take about 10 seconds, and you find four points in this that form a 2 plus 2. Now, you look at it and find in your mind four points in that post set that form a 2 plus 2. There's lots and lots of choices. Do you see them? All right, I'm going to show you my favorite. Here's A. Here's B. Here's C. And here's D. Do you see that those four points determine a 2 plus 2? A is less than B, C is less than D, but there's no comparabilities C to A or B. There's no comparabilities D to A or B. So that post set is a, that four element sub post set is a two plus two. Now, yes, I could have done it with covers, but I deliberately chose not to. Because I want to emphasize that the presence the presence of a 2 plus 2, regardless of how it is formed, prevents the post set from being in interval order. Is that, is that point clear to you? You don't have to try to find the intervals for this. You can't find them. Because you can't find the intervals for those four points, A, B, C, and D, using the argument at the top of the slide. 